Hey everybody, hope you're having an awesome day. I found this sweet vintage Pony Boy cap gun at Goodwill for 99 cents. I want to do a little silver rub and buff kind of paint job on this, maybe do a wash on the handle uh, just to get some of that grain to pop out. So it should be pretty simple. Come on, let's do it. <laughs> So there's this really cool bone detail in the plastic of the handle. So I'm taking this Citadel bone colored paint, just really working it into all the little nooks and crannies, being pretty liberal with it because I'm going to take a sponge and use the scotch bright side. It's a little damp, carefully kind of scrub it down and it'll just get all of the little details and make it look really awesome. Now with the metal, I used this AK true metal gunmetal paint it's an oil based paint I think it has wax in it um, I put it right over the metal and then you're supposed to be able to buff it well as I'm buffing it it is getting shiny so it looks pretty cool but it is also pulling it right off and I think I totally failed I think I should have done a primer first masked it all off done a primer and then done that because I think because I'm doing it right onto the metal of the gun it is just not sticking so you know that was my bad I probably should have thought of that but I thought this would be a fun quick easy one and ends up it's going to take a little bit longer so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some paint thinner strip all this off get it back down on the metal then I'm going to mask this off prime it then do it over the primer I think that's going to work a whole lot better all right got it all primed up i think this is going to work a lot better i'm going to try it again all right i'm buffing it and it just pulled it right off again so uh, bummer Let's go with plan C. I've got some Rust-Oleum Silver Metallic. Just giving it some couple of nice coats. I had to do this a couple of times, unfortunately. I'll tell you why at the end. All right, now what I'm doing is I'm just taking some Citadel Gnome Oil and I am putting a really nice wash in all of the darker areas. I did go back um, just with a wet paper towel and kind of carefully wipe off any of the excess that was outside of any of the crevices that I didn't want. Uh, yeah, I think in the end it gave it a nice depth and effect. Alright, now that I got all the washes on, it's looking pretty cool. I'm going to peel the masking off. Okay, so this thing was a pain in the neck. It did not go planned at all how I thought it was going to go. I thought it was going to be a quick rub and buff it, weather it, done. Um, I couldn't get the AK True Metal stuff to work, and I think that's my fault. I just haven't used it enough, so I need to experiment with it a little bit more. Then when I was spray painting this, I had pretty much an empty can of Rust-Oleum Silver Metallic. And I was spraying it, it was looking really good. And then right at the end, it just went and splattered all over it. I was like, oh no. So I had to wipe that all down. I was spraying it with the silver again, got it looking really good. And I was holding it like this and I went to turn it and it flipped out of my hand, landed in the grass and I got stupid grass marks all over it. So I had to wipe it down, do it again. Uh, <laughs> total pain in the neck, but I got it to work and you know what it was 99 cents not a big deal sometimes these things are a little bit frustrating and um you just got to work through it and figure it out and i think it turned out pretty good in the end let's take some finished shots of this and as always it's a great day to be a toy nerd even if it doesn't go as planned